Our game has been set in Eberron since its launch six years ago. And since that time, we've heard players asking us, when can we go to Forgotten Realms? We want to see the Underdark. We want to see Elminster. We want to see all these cool, famous people and places and take part in those stories in that more classic setting. Faerun and the Forgotten Realms setting in general is more in line for a lot of those players as to what they expect out of their D&D experience. So for us, it's, uh, it's, a big, uh, it's a big mark to hit, and we want to make sure we live up to those expectations. Uh, the Underdark is an underground uh, world. It's, it's basically a huge network of caves. Uh, some of the spaces open up to these huge expanses. The big hurdle and the, the, the difficulty in, in creating such a space, in terms of the technical aspect, is how do you uh, create a space that's two miles high and, and, and two miles wide? And, 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 and you know, also um, the other part is like, how do you not fatigue the player of seeing rock all the time? So we, we've, we're, we're coming up with ways where you know you, you might have uh, certain funguses or, or vegetation that glow in the dark, so they're not always looking at gray walls and whatnot. So it's a very it's very challenging in a lot of different different ways. When Jeff and I you know started looking at uh, the Underdark and and deciding where we wanted to take it visually, we looked at a lot of images of some of the most fantastic caves, natural occurring caves in the world, and some of my time you know thinking of ways to bring the space to life so that it's more than just a cave. So maybe I, I'm making some kind of luminescent algae or a new type of mushroom that players haven't seen before. And beyond that, it's also, you know, home to the drow and home to uh, Schindlerin. And so there's a lot of cool lore that we get to dig into with that as well. Schindlerin in and of itself has a unique flavor. Uh, different from other drow cities. It's actually built on a, a huge ziggurat, sort of a triangular pyramid that is quite big. It underlies the entire city. We've been working very closely with Wizards of the Coast. This is a, uh, a place that you can't directly get to. It, it, we can work around it in the Underdark as far as physical uh, space, as a, both as a player and, and in the way that it's designed. It's a trading city. Uh, it's a city uh, of portals. It, it is, in fact, actually, it has no physical connection to the rest of the Underdark. It is, exists in its own cavern, and the only way to get in there is through portals. It's also located underneath Cormier. Uh, so this provides a good place to find conflict between the Drow and Cormier. The Drow are very evil um, in uh, Dungeons and Dragons parlance. They're chaotic evil. Um, now, most chaotic evil monsters tend to have um, a lot of infighting. The drow are like that, but they're a little bit more powerful and dominant. They're civilization builders. They plot against each other, they assassinate each other, or make a temporary alliances to gain power. Basically, they see everybody as prey. They're all about how they can exploit somebody else to gain power for themselves. And they're very intelligent, they're high magic, they're one of the most dangerous and advanced civilizations out there, which makes them you know, a really, really difficult enemy to go up against. Well, of course, um, there's a ton of monsters that we wanted to put, uh, put into this release, and there's quite a few of them we got in there. So uh, players will be excited that we have things like the Purple Worm, Dragoloth, different parts of the Drow faction, like priestesses and other different roles that the Drow are gonna have, as well as Driders, which are half a Drow, half Spider. Those are some of the monsters that are coming to the Underdark for sure. Uh, there may also be a, a brand new uh, dragon in there somewhere. If players uh, search through every corner of the space, uh, they might find a nasty encounter with a new dragon they haven't seen before. It's, it's generally a really cool space, and, and the monsters, of course, in the storyline are a big part of it.